Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Land Above Sea Level. Now, essentially, this is sort of similar to Dwarf Romantic in terms of there's tiles, there's synergies. However, the aim of this is to protect this tree at all costs. Because basically, if we get three tiles that match each other, they will raise the ground up. And you want to do that because at the end of each season, you can see it's currently season one of 10, the sea level will rise. And if the tree goes under, then it's game over. So back in the top left, these are the the tiles we're going to get so they're all sort of autumn cards and bottom right you can see the actual card that you have and then as you unlock points you unlock like more cool stuff so let's start by shoving that down you can see it just gets a times one multiplier so as we do that we get five points we can then place our next tile there for a times two on the points because you can see it's touching two edges thanks to those white little things over there you only get times one points in order to raise the land the adjacent tiles have to be of the same type so there's no point sort of surrounding that and then going there I may as well just do that. Take the points. And then if I add another one there, you'll see two things. One, we now have a space that we can put a tile that will give us the three adjacent. Uh, you can see that as we shove it in, the, the adjacent tiles go higher. Now times three, it will raise the tree as you can see there. So that is good. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing you've probably noticed on this tile, can you see it says plus 100 meters. Now that's sort of an extra challenge we've got to do for that tile. We need to raise that 100 meters into the air in order to complete it. And that will gain us some extra tiles and things. And uh, the one I'm about to place, that also has a plus 70 meters one. Uh, so what it might be worth doing, rather than shoving that in there to raise everything, you can see the one on the right, it goes down to plus just 90 meters. We need to raise it if we place that in there because it will be raised 10 meters. But if we place that adjacent to that, and then we use our next tile to go in the middle, that raises both of them 10 meters. So since we have this, it's probably worth going in there now to raise both of them 10 meters. So we'll do that. And then we just need to get a few more times three. You can see in the top left, we got three cards remaining. There's going to be two autumns and then that one's like a river autumn one. I'll go on to rivers in a second. But I think, yeah, for now, if we do, if we, if we shove that one in there, then we've got a times three are there, which raises everything by 10. So that is good. However, what's not good, the one we've just placed, can you see it's now got that symbol above it? Because that is the lowest level tile, I haven't raised that one. I've literally just placed it. It means at the end of the season, which is like after I place this tile, the sea level will rise and we'll lose that tile. And not only will we lose that tile, because it's like because it's like a drowned piece of land, we won't be able to build on top of it. Like you'll still see like the rocks and trees poking out. So basically, we would have lost that tile unless we can use the one we have here to raise the sea level. Yeah, there's no times three anywhere. We're only you ever going to touch two sides. So sorry, Square, we're, we're going to lose you. So the game's called Land Above, Sea Below. But what's above all of this? It's today's video sponsor, Call of Dragons, an MMO fantasy conquest game by the creators of Rise of Kingdoms. With a huge degree of strategic freedom, you need to take advantage of unit types to bring down stronger foes. Whether you play PvP, PvE, or decide to team up in alliances, the battles are absolutely huge, with over 40 players controlling thousands of units. There's mobile and PC crossplay, plus automatic in-game translation, making it possible to play with more people than ever. And you'll need all the help you can get to take down the eight unique behemoths in these truly testing rays that are spread across the huge 3.88 kilometer square map that you'll need to explore. Fight behemoths in GVE combat to tame them and unleash them against your enemies on the battlefield. In your alliance, a designated Beastmaster will strategically decide when to unleash the behemoths as a weapon. And if the right one is chosen that suits the environment of the battlefield, you can turn the tide of battle, especially if you've used the right training style. Different training styles have vastly different effects, even on the same behemoth type. Enter the lair of ancient giant bears, thunder rocks, magma demons, or the mighty red dragon. Download Call of Dragons by boosting the link in my description, or scan this QR code and use code CODMASTER. No, no, not the fish. Call of Dragons monster, CODMASTER, for special in-game rewards. Anyway, now with the rivers, you get more points the longer they are, but they can only connect to adjacent rivers. So like that tile there, that tile there, if I go in the middle, they'll have to be river tiles. Now, the good thing with rivers is adjacent tiles will actually be immune to going underwater. Like rivers cannot drown. The adjacent tiles and rivers cannot drown either. So if I shove that there, and then we go into the next season, look, you can see that bit of land that was going to drown no longer drowned. Nice. So next up, we still need to raise these quite high, which means I need to try and get some more times threes. So I think if I shove a piece there, that will gain me one either side, right? Yeah, so we'll do that 
first. So we'll do that, which also raises the tree. So that's good. And then we'll do the other side as well. Nice. Look at that. 40 meters to go. And then we'll, we'll have completed two challenges. Now, bottom left, we've just unlocked a card. You can see this one. Get one extra day before the end of the season. So basically, it adds another tile up here. Yeah, but I can only use it once. And I unlock that by getting the, the points on this side. So my next card I unlock is 500 points. And it allows me to skip the current tile in the hand. Anyway, coming up, we've got an autumn card, then an autumn river, then an autumn, then an autumn river. The trouble is you never know which ones are going to have challenges on. Yeah, but I reckon we go when we've got like three sides remaining. If we go like that, we can get two threes either side, which is always good. Um, Here we've just unlocked a river. So I guess I guess take my river over there for now. Oh, and that's given me a cheeky times three over there. Uh, but again, I've still got these two as well. I feel like it doesn't really matter where I place this one. Maybe I'll go here because then it's next to the river. So even if I don't raise this one, which I don't think I'll be able to next time anyway. But yeah, if I go there, it's next to the river. It's safe. All right, then my final card for this season is a, is a river piece. I could add another one with this card, remember, but I think we're probably good. So I guess we'll just go down there and then we'll say next season We'll watch the water rise. We didn't lose any land. Now, and you may have noticed over this way. Look, we had some random rocks spawn. So that's a new sort of biome. Um, and later on in the game, we will get them. If you look in the top left, we actually have a different biome coming up, like the village biome. But yeah, for now, we have a piece of river. So actually, if I shove that there, that's made a cheeky little three over that way. So we'll do that. And then we may as well use that three down there. Very nice. And now it's time to start making our village. It's a new biome, so I might shove it this side of the river. The thing is, I need to make sure that we're still raising the tree because that is the ultimate game. And it's easy to get distracted in this game with like new challenges, new biomes and stuff. Yeah, so I feel like that spot in there is probably better for like a an awesome one because that will raise the levels. But perhaps I could go over this side because the tree doesn't count as an autumn biome. It's like its own little, well, it's like a plant tombstone apparently. But yeah, if we build our village down this way, remember, we sort of need three in order to raise the village up. Otherwise, it will flood next round. Uh, we've just unlocked a new card, the skip tile card. Um, I'm not going to skip a tile though because it's just a bit of river and rivers are quite good for expanding. Oh, it's an end of river. Yeah, maybe I'll end my river there and then you can see if I don't do something over here, th that village is going under. Thankfully, I have a village tile. So we can shove this piece in to save the village and then we'll go on to the next season and it's season four. Right, okay, looking up the top, it looks like we've got some autumn coming up. So I feel like we need to raise the sea level. It's been a while and these, these challenges are still lingering. So I think we with my autumn cards, I'll go in there. You can see that does actually raise the city because it's all connected. You can see the river doesn't raise because it's a river. A river's got to stay at like ground level. But yeah, I reckon we'll shove that in there. Oh, and then we have a village river piece. So probably worth doing a new river over this way just to like protect the village. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I put that in there, I've noticed it's got a bridge, which means we need a bridge review. It's a tiny little village bridge, a stone arch one crossing the mighty river. The river doesn't actually go anywhere. So is the bridge crossing the source? I don't know. All I do know is I can't zoom in very far on the game. I can zoom out though. So overall, I give this bridge a very modest 5.6 out of 10 bridge review. Yeah, and something I noticed just while zooming out here, we do have like other little tiles we can actually get to to help us. So a bit like Dorf Romantic in exploring the new tiles, we could try and stretch ourselves to get over that way. Um, one other thing I've I've failed to mention, I actually hate the keyboard camera controls on this game. So basically, if I want to like move left, I'm literally going to press A to move left. But look what happens. The camera like jolts right. So ready? Like why... Why does it do that? It means you can't do like, like in theory, it's sort of cool if a little bit nauseating, but like, like if you were tapping right like that and then you want to tap left because it's a change of direction, it still goes right and then it goes left. So if I tap left then right, we sort of get like stuck in the middle because the game's trying to do this stupid thing. And it's the same with like, uh, if I try and do rotations. So if I try and do like right, whoa, left rotation, right rotate can you see like as i start doing it it rotates the opposite direction it sort of like winds itself up which basically means keyboard control is completely pointless because i'm trying to like i'm trying to center this right now i'm literally trying best i can but i can't because the camera's doing the opposite thing i want to hence you got to use the mouse if you want to move hopefully the devs will sort of tweak that because i'm not a fan uh, but the one thing the current keyboard controls are good for are entire land nado 
those in Thailand. NATO t-shirt coming soon. But right, we've got another piece of autumn. So we got to shove that in there to raise those up. And we've nearly completed a few challenges. Um, and the good thing about shoving one there is we have another times three next to it. And up in the top left, we have a little leaf one coming up. So we'll shove that in there. For our village, we'll shove it down this way. Annoyingly, we won't be able to raise it. Oh, we might do actually. If I shove it there, then I can see up here I've got a river and a town coming up. So I can shove the village in that way to raise that piece up. Or perhaps the river there to save it anyway. But yeah, with our final piece of autumn, if we shove that in there, we'll complete two challenges. Boosh. So that is a whole load of points. And remember, the more points we get, the more of these special cards we get, um, as well as more tiles to use this time. And you want tiles sort of early on in the seasons. There's less like biomes, less variety. So it's easier to actually do stuff. Uh, hence, might be worth doing the new dawn stuff. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get another card. And then I'll do it again. Another card. Nice. We got loads of awesome ones, which means we're going to be able to probably complete these challenges. Anyway, first off, river tile. We can shove that in there. And because it's a times three, that does actually raise everything. Completing one challenge. Oh, man, we got so many tiles this round. We've then got villages. Uh, and this one, can you see it's actually got a challenge on it? So it basically needs to be surrounded by five villages and one autumn tile. And by going there, because it gets a times three straight away, we, we get the three villages ticked off. So we just need two more villages and an awesome tile but this is where the game can get a little bit a little bit naughty because it distracts you with these challenges and then before you know it your, your tree's drowned but still i'll shove that there because that raises everything wait what did that challenge just change to raise it 100 meters <laughs> it was not that a second ago what what are you doing game okay pretty sure that's like some sort of bug we are in early access so there are going to be some things like that but <laughs> I was meant to be surrounding this with different tiles. Now I can't. Anyway, I'll shove that probably there in the hope that we'll be able to use our river tile there later on. Um, I've got river tile over this way, so I guess we'll just cap off that river. It is a times three, so we will get a challenge. Nice. And even more tiles. So many tiles. Okay, let's just, let's just go mental this time. This tree is not drowning on my watch. So this river piece has a challenge, and apparently it's add five more awesome tiles. You can see the river piece is a corner as well, so there will have to be rivers coming out this way that are awesome ones. Um, yeah, looking at it, one of the tiles is a green. So, wait, what? Every time I place it down, it's ch it's changing challenge devs. <laughs> Wherever I put it, the challenge changes. Is it meant to work like that? Let's place it down. Oh, no, it's changed. <laughs> oh, no. I think the game's a little bit broken. Every time I place a challenge down, it sort of changes. Whether that's intended or not, I don't really know. I can't imagine it is intended. You just get a random challenge when you place it down. I don't know. Anyway, it needs three autumns and two greens to complete. If I shove one there, that's a times three. So we raise everything as well. We can shove another one. I could shove another one back there, but apparently it has a challenge on. And I don't know what the challenge will actually be. Do I trust it? I don't know. We'll go in there. So at least we've made a times three. I'm not sure if that one actually changed. We'll go there with that one. I think this bit of river, we could go there or there. The trouble with going here, we're going to have to put a village in to satisfy that. And then it also means, can you see this tile here if i put that one there although i could can i rotate it no i can't rotate i can rotate there but i don't know what the layout of this green river is gonna be and i'm gonna need a green river there so i think it's probably safer if i do well maybe if i do that because then this river yeah that wouldn't have fitted in here but now if i shove that in there you can see we're ticking off two of the challenge pieces so we'll do that i got no points for that but we are completing the challenges which is always good then we got a bit of autumn oh with more challenges on so i think we'll shove that there and then oh no look we're at risk we are at risk we're gonna lose that to the water unless we can raise it there's actually two there that we're gonna lose but if we get a times three we're safe and that actually completes the challenge as well so you go in the middle yeah it means we actually get more tiles <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, we just got to be careful because wherever we put this, we will lose it unless we get a times three. So tell you what, I'm going to shove it up here to make sure it's saved. And then our final tile is a town. And if I shove it on any of these tiles, I will actually lose it because it won't get raised up unless I shove it in the middle. Oh, no, I will lose it in the middle. Oh, wait, or is that? I think that's actually a second... Is that a second tile I have? So I've got an awesome one. So I can shove this anywhere in order to save it. Like this one down here that I placed is also going to get done. Unless I can unless I can find a times three somewhere. And I don't think I can find any. Although actually, can't I just go... I can go in there. 
boost. Okay, so we haven't lost any tiles and it's the sort of losing tiles to floods that makes you lose this game because it means you can't place things on those squares. Sorry, hexagons. And if you can't like go on adjacent tiles and you can't make your times threes as easily. So it's really, really important. You try not to lose any tiles. That's why we're doing so well. If you try and play this yourself, you will find it's really, really hard unless you try and focus on not losing any tile. So we'll go to the next season. Water level goes up. It is season five. Uh, same season as the Timborn is currently, unless you've already watched the finale, in which case, spoilers. Right, river piece. I reckon we'll just shove that down there. Got another river piece. I'll shove it there because that's made a nice times three for that one, which will raise everything up. Probably do the same there as well. Then we've got green river. Now that is going to get a times four. So that raises everything up. And another green river to go there. I'm sort of thinking for this river. Maybe I want to go there for this. Yeah, I think that because then I've got a times three there if I get a purple. Um, For now, though, we've only got one tile remaining. This is a very short season. It's more like season three of Timberborn. It's not season five. Anyway, with our green village tile, if we shove that in there, you can see we get the times three. But it's worth noting because the river's in the way, we don't actually raise the land over this side. And if we don't raise the land over this side, our tree is getting more at risk of going under. I mean, it's 160 meters in the air. It's probably safe for now. But yeah, we'll shove it there and then we'll go to the next season and see what we get this time. So we got loads of green rivers. We've got the orange tiles. So I know the orange ones I can sort of place to complete challenges and raise the ground, which raises the tree. So we'll do that one there. Is it worth doing my green river over this way to try and complete this challenge? It might be. So I'll shove you there. This orange, if I go there, because it's surrounded by river, it won't actually raise anything. Whereas if I go like over this side, that raises everything up. And we've got that challenge in the middle, which is on plus 30. So that will be nearly completed. So yeah, I think I'll shove that there. I'll keep the rivers going down this way if I can. Oh no, I can't because it's a big old lake thing. A lake that wants to be surrounded by green apparently. Our oh, greens and an orange. So probably shove that there. Then back to down here to try and complete that challenge. Cool. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. We got that. That can go in there to raise everything up. Then that challenge is nearly complete. Our tree is so high, by the way. It is well out the way of danger. Um, oh, and the river piece I have now. Look, if we go in this gap, that completes the river. So that's actually pretty decent. It doesn't raise anything up, but it does nearly complete that challenge. So we'll do that. And then this house will go in the middle there. That is challenge completed. We get a load more tiles this season. So we got green house, which I'm not really sure what to do with, I'm honest. I mean, I guess to save it, I guess we can just shove it next to that lake. We got straight orange river, which actually completes those two challenges if I go like there. So we'll do that. And then, oh, a new a new tile type. Can you see in the bottom right? It's, it's like a castle, castle gates. Now they're sort of like rivers in that they're like sort of castle walls that need extending. Um, and they they're part of the green biome. So perhaps shove it there somewhere. And then with my final piece, you can see what's at risk. So we've got, I think in the middle there, that's where I put a little village, but that's just going to get flooded. Uh, it doesn't actually matter because it's in the middle. This being flooded could actually affect us though. So is there a way, is there a way to raise this land at all? Otherwise things are going to get a little bit annoying. So I won't ever be able to build on that tile. I could play the new dawn card. So get an extra, some orange river. Is that going to help? I don't actually think it is. That's annoying. Still, I guess we just try and complete these by doing that. Yeah, there's no way of not losing that tile, which is a bit of a shame. Still, we'll shove that there and then we'll go to the next season. And oh, look at all these that have spawned. The game really wants us to explore up over that way. But anyway, season seven, we have our first tile is a bit of castle. So if you look down here, this is where our castle was. Oh, it looks like a face. It looks like a mouth like he's about to eat that tree, which is like a, I don't know, a Cheetos crumb or something. Anyway, extending castle, we can go that side. I feel like that side's probably better because we get the times three. Although times three doesn't really matter because those are next to a river anyway. Still, may as well shove it in for the points. What do we need for the next bonus? 6,750. We're on 5,195. So we're getting there. Still quite a way off though. Uh, Orange River probably, I mean, it doesn't really matter where it goes. It's not going to do anything for us. I think we'll go there. And then time to start raising this land up because we still got 20 meters on that challenge. So I think if we do one there, get rid of these villages over this way. Boosh. Then back over this side, we can shove one there to raise things up and complete that challenge almost. Boosh. And then the village can go there to complete that challenge. 
Lovely. And then I got four of these autumn tiles to use. So one can go there to do that. Another one can go here. And you can see that's the tile that we lost last time. You see it's flooded and we can't build on that anymore. Quite annoying. Still, we can go there to raise tiles. And does that? Yeah, that raises everything, which is beautiful. All right, so apparently this one, wherever I place it, it has a different challenge. Is this a glitch or is this actually how it works? So if I shove it there, we got to raise it 50 meters. Then it's just changed to we got to raise it 70 meters. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. I don't understand, but I do actually see the strongest shape like in the middle of my screen. I don't know if anyone else does. Yes. Anyway, let's raise it up a little bit higher. Boosh. No one told me we we're going to lose that tile. Oh, no. I mean, to be fair, that's only the village. I don't really care as long as it's not an awesome tile. But yeah, we've got Green River. So shove that there and then go to the next season. Sea level raises up and you can see we have lost this tile now. So you can see like the trees and stuff poking out. We cannot build there. We can build around it, but not on top of it. Anyway, this village, I may as well just prep for like three years. So that's not an extra river. So we could lose that if we don't get a three going on up there. Uh, we got the ability to raise everything again. So we'll do that by doing that one. And then we'll use this to raise the town that we just placed so that it is safe this season. And we then got more castle. Oh, that raised everything again. Decent. And then, oh, it's a new biome. The brown biome. So the question is, where do we want to make a new biome? I quite like this edge. This edge is quite good for making like the sea level raise. Although we've only got two seasons left. So I don't think we're going to lose this game. It's just a case of how many points can we get. Still, brown biome, you're in there. And then these remaining ones, I'm going to keep raising that tree up. I want to see how high I can get the tree. How high is it now? 220 meters. Oh, you can see we're going to lose. We're going to lose that. Yeah, we're starting to lose tiles now. There's another one over there we're going to lose as well. Still, it's out of my hands. So we'll just go on to the next season. Sea level comes up. We lose quite a few tiles. That was our new brown biome that we lost. Not ideal. Especially when coming up are two more that we could have used to raise stuff up. Anyway, orange, I will shove there. So we've got two future raisers. And we've got green river. Can we finally... I'm still waiting for green river that will fit down here. So that can go... Oh, this one has a bridge on it though. Cannot complain too much. Let's go there with you. City there. Raise the sea level there. And these new brown ones. I think we're just going to lose these browns, aren't we? Probably worth skipping these. Yeah, let's skip them. So otherwise we're just going to have the flood messes that we can't use again. All right, we got castle. So I'm just going to extend the castle this way a bit. And oh, I don't really know where to shove this where we won't lose it. I think we've lost a bit of castle. Oh, we've unlocked the Pine River. So we probably should shove the Pine River down because then we can actually make some like a pine biome that doesn't like disappear instantly. So I might add on to this bridge. Go, go like that. Boosh. So next season, water level comes up. I don't think we lost anything that round, thankfully. But look, season 10, all of our cards are different. We've got the new biome going on. So we're going to want to raise these up. So I think one there. One. Oh, man, we're proper pinned in from the rivers. We'll shove that there. I feel like we're going to lose that biome already. we got greenhouse. Can I use that to complete any challenges? Uh, no, in a word. So this is for the new biome. I don't, yeah, we don't have the cards to actually save that. I think we might lose those this round unless we can complete a challenge. And I don't think we can. Yeah, so down here, we're going to lose the new biome again. <laughs> It didn't have much luck, that biome. So let's go to the next season and see what happens. That's the end of the game because it's the end of the seasons. So we get a high score of 8,105. If you give this game a go, let me know in the comments. Did you beat my high score or did I do quite well? Considering I've played like quite a few games of this, I feel like that's quite a high score for me. I probably went a bit overboard with the getting the tree high. I kept losing games earlier on. So I was like, I'm just focusing on raising the tree up this time. 290 meters tall, that tree. But yeah, that was land above, sea below. And don't forget to check out the sponsors of this video call of dragons by boosting the link in my description if you guys enjoyed a boost like button but for now i say peace love and bridges bye guys